One day while walking on the beach, two kids spotted something strange in the water. Hey, look, this looks like a small alligator. Alligator? No way. I think it's a shark. Hey, you both are totally wrong. This is neither an alligator nor a shark. It is an oarfish, also known as a doomsday fish. A doomsday fish? Yes, a doomsday fish. Why it is here? And why it is called a doomsday fish? Oarfish is an eel-shaped deep-sea marine creature found in areas spanning from temperate ocean zones to tropical ones, yet very rarely seen. Or fish are rarely caught alive. Their flesh is not well regarded for eating due to its gelatinous consistency. According to the Florida Museum of Natural History, or fish can grow up to 36 feet long and weigh hundreds of pounds. The creatures usually live around 650 feet below the surface of the ocean, but they have been found at the depths of up to 3,280 feet. Their rarity and large size and their habit of lingering at the surface when sick or dying make or fish a probable source of sea serpent tails. Centuries of folklore have leveled them as the harbingers of calamity, and some even refer them as doomsday fish. The or fish is called doomsday fish because historically, appearances of the fish were linked with subsequent natural disasters, namely earthquakes or tsunamis. After the 2011 Japan's earthquake and tsunami, which killed over 20,000 people, many in Japan pointed to the 20 or fish washed up on the country's beaches in 2009 and 2010, in line with this reputation as a harbinger of doom. The scientific community, however, remains divided over the significance of these sightings. Some researchers debunk this correlation, while others propose that or fish might be more sensitive to seismic activity due to their proximity to underwater fault lines, potentially prompting them to surface before an earthquake. In August 2017, two or fish washed ashore in the Philippines just one day before a magnitude of 6.6 earthquake struck. While in 2013, similar occurrences were reported along California's beaches. And recently, in the month of February 2025, this deep sea creature was spotted in Baja California Sur along Mexico's Pacific coast.